Hello everyone. This is a simplified version of my homemade power inverter circuit and I like to go over it and show you how I did it here. Uh, I'm using the 1404 transistors, the IRF, uh, 6 on each channel with a total of 12 which I'm using Litz wire I made up with 16 gauge wire wrapped like 27, 28 turns around this 300 watt core here. Um, and each transistor is pulsing up to 333 watts capable of pulsing on each line. And I have a total of 12 here. So what I wanted to show you is the power capability of this thing. I can light up some lights here, 500 watt each halogen bulbs, up to 2,000 watts of power coming off of this little toroid core. Uh, it's only supposed to be for 300 watts. But what I'm doing is just saturating the core with an incredible magnetic flux um, with these transistors. And I'd like to show you the power output of this thing. Right now I just have a one 500 watt halogen bulb hooked up to it. And I'm going to show you what my output and everything is on it. And here we go. Oh, what I, what I did also, I got it hooked up to my amp meter so I'll be able to show you the current that is drawn off my battery here. But here we go. There's your 500 watts of light. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it on DC. At 115 volt with 34.7 amps. That's what it's pulling to light up this 500 watt halogen bulb. Everything stays cool to the touch. I got it pulsing at 60 hertz cycle with my little circuit here. Now let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you some more things. I'm gonna to start to hook up these other bulbs. Uh, these are two 500 watt bulbs. And which will give me a total of 1000 watts. And I'll let you see the bulb specs here to show you. I'm not fooling anyone, this is 250 watt, but they're 500 watt. If you can see that, it's a little blurry. But 120 volt, 500 watt, both of them. Let's turn this around here. 120 volt, 500 watt. And they're both made up of that same thing. Grand total of 2,000 watts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and hook up this and I'll be right back. Okay, we have our two bulbs hooked up, equaling a total of 1,000 watts now, and let's go ahead and turn her on and see what she can do. Got your voltage, 115, 114, 113. I turned on the engine to help out on the current here. We're running at 66.3 amps. And it all depends on the RPM of your engine running. See we're down to 109 volts now but if you cranked it up to around a thousand RPM it'll stay around the 115 volt range. But there's your thousand watts of light and just barely warm to the touch and my core is just barely lukewarm here. But that's your thousand watts. Alright I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the other light here and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I have my engine revved up to around 1700 RPMs to help it out. Um, this really draws a lot of current from the battery and I'm, I'm only using six alt wire, which I really need more to get that real good amp pool. But I'm gonna show you what it can do. This is 2000 watts of power right here. Here we go. The voltage is a little low, 95, 96 volts at 119 amps. Got them all lit up. Stays warm, just getting a little warm. The core is actually now starting to warm up, I guess because of this intense heat coming down, but it's powering them up. That's the power this thing is pushing. It's 
doing an excellent job on this little core. These are still just warm. Pretty amazing. Go ahead and shed it off. And what I'm going to do now is to show you not just from halogen lights, but from a jigsaw and a shop vac running together at the same time. It can push motors as well. Refrigerator, compressors, all that stuff. It can power as well. So I'm going to stop this video and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I got the plugs plugged right in here. Got my shop vac turned on and I'll squeeze the handle of my jigsaw at the same time. And let's go ahead and see what this does. I went ahead and turned the engine off so you can hear the difference here. There's your circuit and you can hear it when it's just on standby mode, the 60 hertz cycle of pulsing. We're at right now 134 volts, 135 almost. And also it depends on your alternator. You can see my alternator here. It is not a high amperage alternator at all. I'm guessing around maybe 45 to 50 amp max from the magnet wire that I see here so it all depends on how high of an alternator amperage that you have on your truck this thing would work great and just push out the power well if you have any questions just let me know and thanks for watching